Ja? Yes. Hey. Yes, Tal. You're the best thing to ever happen to me. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for making our honeymoon so beautiful. I mean, I can't stop thinking about the beautiful places you took me to in Dubai. Thank you. Darling. You don't need to thank me for anything. I should be the one thanking you for being mine. Okay? I promise you unconditional love. Even if the world is falling apart, I promise to be right by your side. Aww. Thank you. Loving you forever is my goal. And I promise to keep you happy all through this journey. Thank you. Once again, thank you for yes. thank you for being mine. You're welcome. And thank you for being mine too. <laughs> <sighs> I love you so much. I love you too. I can't. Let's go inside. <laughs> all right. <laughs> to do now that he's married to another woman? I honestly don't know. I never saw this coming. Oh God. He only told me about his friend Jack, who wedded last month. But I still don't get it. Why would he choose Scott's wedding? How am I supposed to know? Men like Judah are wicked. He convinced me. He convinced me to get pregnant for him. He said that was the only condition. That was the only condition that he would get married to me. He just left me. What am I supposed to do with this thing? <laughs> just pull yourself together, okay? No matter what happens, you can't kill yourself. Alright? And that is this even in life. Calm down, calm down, okay? Just calm down. What am I supposed to do with this baby? You have to be strong. That is for your baby. Okay? Please. It's not the end of the world. This is not fair. This is not fair. This is not fair.
Why are you blocking my way? Where are you coming from? Hmm? Is this how you are supposed to welcome your husband? Which husband? Where did you sleep last night? You haven't answered my question. I said, where are you going? Get out! Come on, get out! Dude, I am not done with it. I said, where the hell are you going? I'm talking to you! How dare you! Now you listen, husband. I am no longer going to give you peace in this house since you have decided to make my life miserable. Jude! For oh, how long will you continue to make this marriage a living hell for me? Mirabel, please, I beg you in the name of God, stay out of my sight. I do not want to do a thing but of what will regret. Please! Where are you going? Your words. What have you done to me in this house? You nincompoop! You bastard! I'm you! I'm you! Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Are you crazy?
말게. 어. 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 Bloggers are still flooding the social media with your wedding pictures. Mm -hmm. Okay, you need to see what is happening there. Hi! Oh, Omo, my God. I thank this great God and my wonderful hobby. You know the saying, what God cannot do does not exist. And that's PPD. Yes, so. <laughs> thank you. My dear. Ah, your case made me believe in that saying. In fact, you are a daughter of grace. You are a child of grace indeed. I wish my husband did quarter, just a quarter of the things your husband did for you. Gina, stop that nonsense. Why the comparison? Your husband did the best he could at your wedding. Story for the gods. You will not understand. That man is very stingy. You will not understand. My dear, I have one little advice for you. And you can take it to the bank if you like. Be contented with anything you have, no matter how little. After all, you see her before you marry her, didn't you? Is it wrong for a wife to enjoy her husband's money? Can't you see how beautiful you are looking? Before you said I do, you studied him and you agreed to marry him. Why are you complaining now? What I saw before going is not what I'm seeing now. Please, let's talk about your wedding, Biko. Biko, the wedding is fast. We're in reality now. Business, cheers. Ah, oh, I forgot to. Cheers, my dear. to continue to do this. When will you ever be ready to get married to me? Jude, I'm not getting any younger. Oh, I see. Now I know where you're heading to. You know what? Get pregnant for me and all your bodies will be solved. Now I see why. So you are one of those men that insist your woman gets pregnant for them before they get married to them. What if the reverse is the case at the end of the day? Oh, no, 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 no. Something like that will not happen. <laughs> yes. Look at me eyeball to eyeball. I love you so much and I will never disappoint you. I mean, how can I hurt a beautiful damsel like you? aware that I am three months gone for you? Why is it taking you so much time to come and pay my bride price? So this is why you pulled me out from my <laughs> office. 
What are you even saying? Am I supposed to be reminding you about this? Or wait, are you playing games with me? Oh no. My love. See, you know I've always loved you. I cannot do anything that will hurt your feelings. The thing is, I am having issues with my business. Once I settle them, I am going to pay your bride price. Okay? I want... I've always loved you. I will never hurt your feelings. Please. Bianca, don't you think your, your man is deceiving you? I've just seen what I'm seeing. That guy is not real. He's not what he appears to be. I remember telling you not to agree to his stand, but you, you wouldn't listen. Jude, that I know, you will never hurt me. He loves me with all his heart. If not for his business that had issues, we'd have been married long ago. So stop saying all these things about him. Oh, really? His business has problems, yet he keeps buying you expensive gifts. Look, Bianca. The sooner you open your eyes, the better for you. And the sooner you stop having negative thoughts about my man, the better for both of us. Please! Is it not obvious that the way you are treating your wife is becoming so unbearable for her? Why all this? Did she tell you what happened? Oh yes, she told me everything. She told me that this is not the first time a thing like this is happening between you two. Dude, what the hell is wrong with you? She is your wife. And not to punch him back. I'm Jack. I don't think she told you exactly what happened. Very well then, tell me what happened. I'm listening. I came back in the morning and she blocked my way without a proper welcome. I avoided her. The next thing she did was to 
to bounce on me, scolding me as if I'm her mate. She has lost respect for me. Why would she do that? See, let's call a spade a spade. Jude, it's all right. If that is what happened, then you didn't do it well. But all the same, she is your wife. She deserves to know your whereabouts. See, Jack, I had a workload at the office. There was a heavy rain. Yes, the traffic was mad. And you know, driving at night is not safe for anybody in this country. So I, I had to lodge at the nearby hotel for safety. That was what happened. You should have called. You should have at least told her. She is your wife. Jude, you have to stop all your silly attitude towards your wife. Okay? All right, um, it won't happen again. None of my business. You have to apologize to your wife. Really? Yes. Of course. Go ahead. <laughs> she will apologize too. Oh, Jude, you know the saying? Two wrongs do not make it right. She is your wife. And you are the man here. You have to apologize to her. At least for the sake of our friendship. Please. Apologize to your wife. Please. All right. My love, I am sorry. It won't happen again. Please take your hands off me. Just leave me alone. Baby, I am sorry. I said I am sorry. Please forgive me. I promise it won't happen again. Are you sure this is coming from your heart? It's coming from my heart. <laughs> Jack, you are a witness to this. Of course I am. <laughs> That's more like it, my guys. <laughs> hey, Jude, we need to toast to this. All right, you know my brand. I know you. <laughs> <laughs> What are you still doing here? Please come inside. I'm not. I'll wait for my son here. Mama, yeah? please come inside so that I can prepare your favorite. You can do that much later. Huh? I hope you are not stressing yourself because of the baby you are carrying. What baby, Mama? I'm not pregnant though. Eh? You are not pregnant. And what are you two waiting for? Hey. Please. I want to carry my grandchildren. Yes. I want this house to be filled with the children. Can you see? Everywhere looks so quiet like graveyard. No. Mm -mm. Okay, Mama, no problem. We we'll just come in and eat. I'm not eating. I will wait for my son here. What if your son doesn't come back? <laughs> then I will sleep here. Let's see. 
<laughs> Chug, Chug. Ah, uh, young man, thank you for coming. I knew you were another woman yesterday. Don't lie to me. I know my friends. <laughs> <laughs> what could I have done? I couldn't resist her. So oh, yeah. Tracy is one damn cell I know I cannot avoid. She's hot. If she catches you on bread, you will forget everything about your wife. You're very stupid. Listen, nothing can ever make me forget about my wife. Okay? <laughs> Men are polygamous by nature. Yes. Well, I put it to you. And not all men. A woman is just like you. Jack. Hey, listen. The earlier you begin to pay more attention to your wife, the better life will become for you. Hmm? Mr. Righteous. See, I might be a Casanova, but I respect my wife very much. No other woman will take my wife's place in my heart. Stop deceiving yourself. I'm not deceiving myself. <laughs> Thank you for coming. <laughs> Mr. Righteous. Ah, yeah, Mr. Casanova. <laughs> you will never see the amazing. All right. Thank you so much. Hurry. Open the gates. Gina! 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 What's all this? A true or what point my lunch not served? And why will I serve you lunch? Why will I save you food? When you have decided to be so stingy with me. Just look at my friend Monica. Her wedding and honeymoon was the talk of the town. Not just a week ago, her husband bought her a brand new Toyota RAV4 as a gift. I begged you, Ike. I pleaded with you to buy me just a car, no matter how small it is. But you refused. You know, you know all fingers are not equal. And you know me that I always cut my coat according to my size. Spend me that crap. You are nothing but a stingy man. How am I even sure that you're not the president of Stingy Men Association? Listen, let me tell you. Very soon, I'm not only going to serve you food, but you see this, you're not going to smell it. What? Georgina! Why are you like this? Don't tell me why are you like this? It's not even up to a year we got married. And you're already complaining about a womb. Why? Why wouldn't I be worried, Jack? Why wouldn't I be worried? Must I pressurize you before you do something you ought to do? I know the stress I went through when I was pressurizing you to marry. Now that you are married. You can't impregnate your wife. Instead, you are playing a dice game. Well, Mom, I believe my wife will get pregnant at God's time. Mm. At God's time. Like I said before, are you sure I won't be so right? <sighs> Listen, Mama. Mm -hmm. If this is why you came to my house and I advise you to pack your things and go back to the village. Mm. Because I do not want any stress between me and my wife. Okay? I don't want it. Hi, mm. that's it.
Yes, I've not had it before. Sent for me. You are three months pregnant. father a child. What do you mean by that? What kind of a stupid question is that? What is, what do you mean by that? The seed you planted in me has germinated or is germinating. So baby, you know what to do. You are going to take full responsibility of it. And you expect me to believe that the bastard you are carrying in your womb is mine. Is something wrong with you? You're Grace? No, 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 no. You're mad? Are you shouting? Shut up! Uh, shush it. Shush. Don't talk when I'm talking. What a merit! How dare you! You call the child in my womb bastard! Bros, they so, you're a smoke banner. They swear for you. Oh, God, I don't know, Mado. I know well. Forget I speak English. If I give you bath boss, you go normal. You're Grace? 
Not show my patience, so I'll go back home with your wife. So, my damn. How? Don't dare! Don't dare me! Go up with me! Mwa! Take him! Slap me now! Sio! Sio! Fisherman! Yeah, out there! Go show me picture! Will you? Will you with me? You hang your hand! If you touch me now! No, no, no! If you just touch me first! Please just say I'm not normal! My brother, listen! I will just walk straight to your wife! Hello, madam! Good afternoon. How are you? My name is Tracy. I am carrying your husband's child. Bagam as in bath goes. Intro. I don't know, man. Sit down for you. The Chris. Okay, don't get me. Be ready, but bang. Bang pass. You understand? The Chris. This is why. The vampire. Who wants to? We done well. That's can't be that. Rubbish. This is our divorce papers. Hmm? I will appreciate it if you comply immediately. Good riddance to bad rubbish. This marriage is over. Henry! This is what has been going on in my home. Please, Monica, help me speak to Jane because I'm losing my mind. Hmm. This is unbelievable. Why the comparison? Exactly the question I've been asking myself time without number. You know, it wasn't like this when I married her. I, I, this, this, is, this is getting out of hand. I've always known her to be a reserved woman with good upbringing. Mm -mm. Something must be wrong somewhere. You don't worry. I'll talk to her. Thank you so much for your time. And thank you for agreeing to speak about this matter with her brother. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate your help. Anyway, how is the baby doing? The baby is fine. Okay. Mm. Before I get carried away, let me get you something. Oh, you don't have to. No, Thanks, no, anyway. I have to. Uh -huh. Come on. Okay. What's your next plan? If plan A didn't work, <laughs> definitely my plan B will click. 
you have never had any mistake in your dictionary. I don't do mistakes. I'm not a fan at all. <laughs> you trust me. You should know that I'm smooth with whatever I do. I've got this clean and smooth slate. By the time I'm done with him, when I don't finish with her, normally, <laughs> you know, go no waiting, Jama. <laughs> Cheers. Of course. Cheers. Cheers. To success.
the clock is ticking. Like they say, time waits for no one. The hour has come for me to take rest against the clock. Actually, in the horizon, we have an emergency. Okay. Is hold on. Is that why you don't want to have breakfast? Stop that. Okay. Stop asking me too many questions. This is very important to me. Please. Mirabia, my daughter, you haven't told me why you came back from your husband's house since yesterday looking so depressed. Is anything the matter? Are you two having any problem? You can confide in me, my daughter. I am your mother. Am I not talking to a human being? Mom, if you must know, I have already filed a divorce case against him. I beg your pardon? Yes, Mom, you heard me right. Jude and I are no longer husband and wife. Why? Have you gone not? Are you insane? In this your condition? Why would you file a divorce case against your husband? Why? Mommy, mommy, I cannot continue living with Jude. Mom, if I continue living with Jude, I will die before my time. I cannot endure anymore. I cannot lie anymore. I am tired of covering up his ass. Yes, I said it. Jude is a monster. He is the worst thing that has ever happened to me. Mom, I'm done with this marriage. I'm done with Jude. It's over! The bitch! I'm not gonna have anything to do with him! Really? Really? I don't get it. I don't. I don't. Mirabe! Mirabe! Gina, what you're doing is totally wrong. What has gotten into you? Nothing has gotten into me. 
This is not the Gina I used to know. What have they done to my friend? Listen up. You better stop pressurizing your husband to offer you what he cannot. Really? Yes. Are you not supposed to be my friend? So why are you supporting my husband instead of me? Your husband is gentle. He is caring and humble. Above all, your husband is God-fearing. This is what every woman desires in a man. Is this why you invited me here? My dear, all fingers can never be equal. I agree that my husband showers me with a lot of gifts. But not all the glitters is gold. Let me ask you one thing. Are you not happy in your marriage? Hmm. Well, I'm happy in my marriage. I will not deny that. But never you judge a book by its cover. It's obvious you're the enemy of my progress. So you don't want my husband to shower me with gifts. You don't want me to enjoy my husband's money now that I'm alive. Oh. Listen, let me tell you one thing. If you're the one advising him not to shower me with gifts, Please stop, else you wouldn't like what I'll do to you. Gina, are we now quarreling? What does it seem like? Backstabber. Me? Are, are you leaving? Gina! Hey. Huh. So my advice has become the bad thing. Sorry, mom. No, of course you can't see me now. I'm too small. I'm too small, right? <laughs> Stupid. Sorry. Take that back. Inside. Oh, God, give me. Huh? Huh? You want to do my own? What? Is something wrong with your head? Are you stupid? Huh? You won't claim my work. Go inside. Fast.
what are you doing here? What does it seem like I'm doing here? I am here to be with the father of my unborn child. You have no right to barge into my house without my consent. Get out of... I know your weak point, Judas. See, you are the most adorable woman I've ever met in my life. You know you are irresistible. Mm. That's pretty. Judas. Judas. Excuse me. I have told you countless times to stop calling me Judas. My name is Jude Delilah. Ah, oh, Delilah. It sounds so romantic, so sexy. Call me again. Delilah. You're a bad girl. <laughs> with your life. Hmm? I mean, what kind of a man is he? He couldn't even come throughout your journey as a pregnant woman. And you even gave birth, he didn't show up. Look, girlfriend, just forget about that guy and move on with your life. Forget about him and have some peace of mind. Please. And do you think I don't know these things? You think I don't know these things you're telling me? I just want to meet him, look into his eyes and know why he treated me the way he did. Really? You still want to see him? Then why don't you go to his house? You think I haven't? And then you think I haven't gone to his house? I was told he has walked out. What? What kind of a man is that? Some men are so mean. It shall never be well with him for treating you this way. My God will judge Jude wherever he is. God will judge Jude. Calm down, Jude. Just calm down. Um, God. Well. Listen, I am sorry about my, my behavior yesterday. My emotions got the best of me, but I promise this will never happen again. You acted really weird. I've never seen you act like that before. I couldn't stop thinking about it. Think no more. Okay? Please don't act like that again. And I promise you, I will never act like that again. Hmm? Okay. So how is my baby doing? It was fine now that that is back to his senses. Oh yeah? <laughs> I can see her dancing and partying in there. Oh. <laughs> yeah, right. My love, I... I have to go, okay? I'm running late. Oh, it's okay. So, here. I'll see you when I get back. All right. Take care of yourself. 
Bye, darling. Bye.